Introducing ESA's Data Recovery Wizard for Mac, your reliable data recovery solution. If you have lost data, like I am going to here, this program is your best chance of recovering that data, no matter if you have accidentally deleted it, formatted it, or whether it was automatically deleted by accident. You do not need to take your hard drive out of your Mac or send it to a laboratory. You can do the recovery comfortably at home, at your workplace, or wherever you want to do it. Generally, ESA's Data Recovery Wizard for Mac can recover any kind of data. The only thing that can get in the way of that is when deleted data was overwritten by something else that was saved to the same partition. Therefore, the sooner you begin with the recovery, the better are your chances of success. Likewise, you can recover not only from your onboard data pool, but also from flash drives such as USB sticks, SD cards or external hard drives. The latter case is actually more common for Mac users, so let's examine it here. Sticking to my Mac's USB port, I have myself a little USB stick with a very important file on it. Moreover, the file sits in a very important folder. Let's say, for sake of argument, that I delete this important folder like this. Oh no! As you can see, my USB drive is now empty. So, how do I fix this exactly? I mean, that file was pretty important. Now I go to ESA's Data Recovery Wizard, after which I look for my USB stick. There it is. Then I just click on Scan to let the program scour my USB drive for lost data. Wow, as you can see, there used to be a heck of a lot more than just one important file on my USB stick. I deleted that other stuff for a reason, however, so I only want to recover my important file now. How do I do that? Well, while the scan runs, I can already look through the results. If my file has been found, and there appear to be some earlier work in progress versions restorable here as well, I just select the one I want to recover and click on Recover Now. I decide on which is the correct version by comparing the size of the recoverable files. I then have to choose a folder to save the recovered data. It is generally more safe to put the file somewhere else first in order to avoid overwriting other data I may want to recover. But since I'm certain I don't want to recover anything else from my USB stick here, let me just put it back to where it was. Now I open the file on my USB stick once, just to double check. Et voila! My file is recovered, I am happy and now you know what to do when you have lost data on your Mac. Thank you for watching.